Okay, this is the entrance right here to the park. This is Jim, and he has given away some stuff to his porters. Alright, we're hiking. In the, uh, this is the middle of the rainforest. Although I have to say it's quite beautiful and there's no rain. So I guess we got lucky. But uh, we're probably, uh, we're right about one hour in from the start of the trail. We've probably covered, uh, I don't know, a kilometer and a half, maybe a tiny bit more than that. Keeping a pretty slow pace, pole pole. Slowly, slowly is better. Yeah, there you go. Alright, coming into Mandara Hut. You can see a cabin in the distance over the porter's shoulder. This will be our home for the evening. That's the outside of Zach and Mai's cabin. Right, Zach? That's pretty much it. Bed, bed, bed. And here we're actually only at 9,000 feet, so altitude is not too bad, but obviously hit it uh, considerably higher than this. Peace, like a grandfather, and then play music. For example, some of the others liking to play reggae, so they go to dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> Sunrise at Mandara Hut. Well, Zach and I have parted ways. There's Photo. Photo, say hello. Hello. There you go. Photo is my guy that will take me to the top. Zach and Joseph Mila have gone back down to the entryway and we're just now leaving Mandera. Um, as our gear headed up to the uh, to the Harumbo hut. But more importantly, finally my first glimpse of why we came. Shrouded in the clouds a little bit, but that peak is Kilimanjaro Peak. Kibo. Kibo. And hopefully that's where I'll be at sunrise on Friday morning. Today it's Wednesday morning, so 48 hours from now. Hopefully we'll be standing right there. Here you can see how we've uh, we've left the uh, the forest and how the topography just changes in a matter of uh, you know a couple hundred uh, a couple hundred yards. You go from dense forest to just kind of open uh, open moorland plain. So now we're in uh, in the moorland, gone up a little bit higher left the heather below, so now it's some smaller trees, and a little bit more vegetation. Giant Sinishas or Sinisha Kilimanjari. That's the Harumbo Hut. There's our solar power. It's actually tea time now. That's our hut, number 13. Not sure if that's like good luck or not. Some, more. some nuts, some popcorn, some tea. So we are at Zebra Rock, and uh, basically I'm 13,330 feet above sea level, and I'm told that that's 4,000 meters, so I'll take their word for it. I'm back in the camp. Rumbo. Rumbo is named after a famous Chaga warrior. Same as Mandara, which is where we were the first night. Sunrise at Harumbo Camp. There's the mountain. About as good a view of it as you're gonna get. Hey, good morning. 
So about an hour and 15 minutes into the day three hike, and the uh, you know, sun has warmed up a little bit. It's about, uh, I don't know, 42 degrees out, and according to my watch. But uh, it's pretty simple at this point in time. I am here, and I need to go all the way around there to there. So in the next 20 hours, it's about 10 a.m. here at 6 a.m. Tomorrow morning I hope to be standing up top, up on the glacier. So as you can see, we've now left the moorland. We're now in the high alpine desert. And uh, it's just amazing how much vegetation and how rich everything was just you know, a couple hundred meters below, and now we're, it's basically barren. Well, we've stopped for lunch now. It is, uh, we're about 14,350 feet, so almost as high as the uh, highest peak in Colorado. And uh, altitude's starting to get to me a little, but I still feel genuinely good. It's a nice sunny day, and uh, having a view of the mountain, at least your uh, end goal is always in sight. Basically, we're at the last break spot before the Kibo hut. You can see a couple of porters uh, coming down. That is the route right there that will ultimately go to the summit. And then actually, that's Gilman's Peak, but another hour and a half down on top of the glacier is actually the high point of Kilimanjaro. So, looks like, uh, I don't know, I've never been to the moon, but I guess that's what I would envision it looking like. I've made it to Kibo Hut. And then I will leave about 11.30 this evening for Gilman's Point. Well, the sun is setting and it is getting very, very cold. It, uh, so I sleep now for five hours, get up at 11 and give it my best shot. Good morning. Good morning. It is... Uh, Hardly morning. I don't know even what that says. 20 past, 20 past 11. Uh, 11. There you go. <laughs> this is the cast of characters. We have New Zealand represented. Germany, right? Yes. Iran. Also Germany. And we have the Copenhagen duo. And then we have the, uh, the lone American. <laughs> well, we'll see. It's like preparing for battle. Well, Basically, just trudge along. We're about 45 minutes in. It's just uh, I don't know, half past 12. And uh, basically, what you see here, that's about it for the next five hours. And only the higher we go, the steeper it gets. And we're now at Williams Point. We're over 5,000 meters, 5,020 meters. And I've been climbing about two hours, so wind is picking up, getting a little cold, but not too bad still. But generally speaking, pretty good spirits, still feeling pretty good. We almost could just climb by moonlight, but uh, we still have the headlamps going. Not sure if you can see or not, but whew. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a hell of a climb. That. Uh, some barf right there. Whew. That uh, <laughs> that's a serious climb. So there you go. Then I saw her face Now I'm a believer Now her trace Put out in my mind 